Alright, here's a little test to check the electrical output of a hydrogen torch or an HHO torch. It's been asked whether or not there is an electrical component to this. So what I have set up is two stainless steel plates, a fairly narrow gap between the two, and a voltmeter. Okay, no big deal. Pretty simple arrangement. Uh, normal uh, fuel cells, per se, they, they flow gases between a couple plates, and supposedly the platinum recombines the hydrogen oxygen, and you get voltage potential and heat. Well, we've got heat, and we've got plates. Do we get a voltage potential? Well, if you just run it between the two of them, and notice the meter, you get nothing. I thought that was kind of interesting. And then I noticed that this particular torch, unlike most of them that I've used, the tip gets hot, which means it's receiving energy, which on normal HHO torches, I've used glass ones and things like that, it doesn't get hot. This particular one does. I don't know if it's because of the particular metal, where the flame is, how I've assembled it, what, but if I do this, one second, put the voltmeter connection to the brass tip, voltmeter, and then the other one to the plate. Now if I put the flame to the plate, I begin to get a voltage. One volt, one and a half. There we go. Between the tip and the plate. About a volt and a half or so. Now granted a lot of the electrons if, that are being kicked out of this reaction are probably being kicked out into the air, um, random different elements, but you can at least see some of it is being directed towards the plate along with the flame. So we do have an electrical output on this. Uh, you might be able to run an LED or something of that nature. I don't know what the amperage is going to be or anything of that, but there is an electrical component to this flame. It's not just a normal chemical burn. Uh, yeah, you do get voltage potential between a hot source and a cold source. Uh, any wire with electricity flowing through it has that. Um, it's also known as the Peltier effect. Hold on.